going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So, yes, as you can see by the title of the video, we're here for another wash and go, which should have been recorded maybe two days ago. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go off camera, pop my hair. That way, when I come back, we can just jump straight into it. Okay, so we're here, and this is my hair three days ago because I thought I was going to record the video the day after, but this is like three or four days after the prior wash and go that I did. And here's just it from the back. That way you can see how it's looking. I could have, I got, you know, two to three more days out of it after this video. But yeah, um, this is how it was looking, and so we're going to jump back into the video. Okay, I'm back, and my hair is potted off. As you can see, it's clean or whatever. So let's go to jump into it. So today I'm going to be using the Miel organics pomegranate and honey curl smoothie okay now what says it's supposed to enhance curls with soft definition for thick curly type 4 hair now you know here on this channel when it comes to a hair product that's a styler or a gel we're going to use it regardless of the hair type that it's for why because well i'm gonna do what i want to do okay so let's go to get a close-up okay that's what it's looking like right here all right, and to go over that, well, without any further ado, you already know, not even gonna be on the screen for long, okay? All right, so let's just go to jump into it. Woo, yeah, so this video should have been recorded days ago, okay? So, and the other footage that you would have seen already by at this point, I showed you the hair maybe three days in to this, um, Three days into that wash and go from the last wash and go I did, which usually I record the day after when I record that video. That way, that's like the final day of the hair. However, I just didn't record the video. Why? Because I just didn't want to. So now today's Wednesday. The video should have been out on Monday. But, you know, I'm just trying to test upload days to see which ones may do better or whatever, whatever. Anyway, if you haven't seen the other two wash and goes and the other sit down and talk video about me losing friends or, you know, people just you know, me cutting people off. Go back and watch those. You know, they're still up. While I try to open this. Oh, there is nothing to open. Okay. See, I thought it was one of those lift tabs. So this is how it looks right here. Okay, let me bring it back to the light. Okay. Now, Miel Organics has a good work history. Okay. So we're just gonna put this through the hair. It smells good, you know. I think I'll have to put a little more. And with everything that went on Sunday, you know, we have some things to talk about, okay? But first, let me not be rude, okay? How's everybody doing? You know, because I'm doing good, you know? Okay. Now that that's out the way, have you subscribed to the channel? Because if not, then you need to take the time and go subscribe. Okay, like this video. You know, share the video. Turn on your post notification bell when you're notified every time I post a brand new video. And everything like that. Okay? So, where do we start? Okay. So, the big news... For football, well, not for maybe football watchers, but for anybody who watches the Super Bowl every year, which is hundreds of millions of people, Rihanna is coming back. Come on, Rude Boy, boy, can you get it at? Come on, Rude Boy, boy, can you get it at? Uh, who? Okay. Rihanna is going to be headlining the Super Bowl. It's about to be a whole thing. Because I'm going hmm. to be watching, you know? Oh, na na. What's my name? Oh, na na. That's my song. So, Rihanna's coming back for the Super Bowl. She better not get out there and say, Rihanna Petting available online. The only thing that better be available after that performance is an album. Or, she can release the album before the Super Bowl. However, she'll probably debut a new single at the Super Bowl to prepare for the rollout of the album early 2023. And at this point, I'm still ready for it. However, Will it be a conflict of interest? Kind of. Because Beyonce goes on tour next summer. And if Rihanna releases an album and then decides to go on tour, that's going to be a conflict of interest. Because I can't afford to go to both tours. Oh, and I pretty much promised my coins to Beyonce. 
Like, I've said in multiple videos at this point that I have to attend the tour, the Renaissance. So, yeah. Because at this point, we know the tour is coming, you know, next summer. However, I need to make sure my coins are together. And I can't afford to go to both. Okay. So, now that I have this in here, through this first section, look at this right here. So, I have my mirror on this side right here so I can see. So, yeah. I'm going to move to the second section. Okay, so we talked about Rihanna in the Super Bowl. Let's talk about Big Brother. If you're a Big Brother watcher, we know, or you know, well, I mean, we know at this point. But Taylor Hale won Big Brother season 24. Okay. You know, they talked her out really bad. Now, I didn't watch any other episodes, but I did follow clips that surfaced on TikTok. And anybody who was reviewing the show on TikTok and got all the updates and wanted to know. And I watched, like, the long clips that surfaced online, but I did not watch the show. Because that's just a lot of work. And who has time? Mm-mm. So, yeah, so congratulations to her, you know, and she also won America's Favorite House Guest. So, she's the first winner in history to win the game itself, and she also won America's Favorite House Guest, okay? I don't know what Monty was thinking. I mean, did y'all see his face during her speech? He was like, <laughs> woo, okay, because I was like, mm, 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 mm. Okay. So I'm just taking that through the hair. Let me get a little more. So I'm glad Taylor won. You know, congratulations to her. The first black female winner. 20 years after I think the other woman um, made it to top two. Okay. So that's, that's good for her. Good for her. Okay. And moving on. Did y'all watch the Baddies reunion? Because... It, it, yeah, it was a hot mess, you know, people screaming, they couldn't get out there, and then the host, not Trina, but the host, regular host, she loves to make it seem like these women are so sisterhood-like, and they argue and make up again, all they did was fight, they went to a couple clubs, fought, talked about each other, and that was it, I mean, what else was there to take away from the season? And I'm trying to figure out where's the bag. You know, because that's what Natalie stressed almost the whole season. Let's get to the bag. We're going to get that bag. We're going to get into that bag. Yeah. I was like, ooh, 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 ooh. I mean, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. And then at the reunion, she wanted to fight. And then she got up with that jacket. <laughs> and then she fell down. How do you fall down? She ran up trying to kick Rolly, and then she slipped and fell on her own jacket. Come on, Natalie. You are executive producer. And not only that, who fights with a jacket hanging off their shoulder? See, she went for that little super kick. You know, isn't that the same kick she tried to pull on Red when they went to the conversation? And I just think for me personally, yeah, that's a little ghetto. Now, who's kicking? And you fell down. Like, come on now. Like, you will never be able to recover from that. Amongst other things. And that's the second time Roly snatched you up. You know? You know, I like Natalie. You know, she's good TV, good entertainment. But, like, give it up, um, Natalie. You cannot fight. Put the boxing gloves down. Pick up a broom and sweep. Because, uh-uh. No. Now, she has heart. And she's not scared of nobody. She will run up. Well. She will run up on most people. She, she's not scared, you know? Hey. So, yep, the second section is done. So, now we're going to go to the third section right here. I wonder if I should do a bang one day. Like, let it come all the way down like this. Okay? I don't know. And, okay, I was online and I was shopping, as usual, because, I mean, retail therapy. You know, when you're shopping, okay, wind, rude. So I was online shopping and I was like, well, let me buy me a few things, you know, and I, I feel like I'm entering into a new era, you know, I bought plenty of shades, you know, I bought me one or two or three pieces from Fashion Nova, you know, and I got this African exfoliating net thing offline on TikTok. So when they get to her, I might do a little haul video, you know, 
And it's fall now, so maybe I can do some like fall outfits. Now, I'm not one of the fashion people. I don't have all these dripped out outfits with all these matching colors. And child, I don't really have enough shoes. So really, if I do an outfits video, it's only going to be from the ankles up because I don't have no shoes. Okay? I don't have like 18 million pairs of shoes to go with every outfit because that's not who I am. But it'll be basic stuff that I will wear, which is probably not going to happen. But I will show you what I got and I'll probably do like a little try on. Okay. And I went and bought my first, um, but the luxury fragrance, well, not fragrance, uh, cologne. So if you can see behind me over here, no, over here. Okay, that over here. No, over here. No, over, wait, over here. There we go. Let me turn this way. So right here, you see the little small bottle? Right, that is a Burberry. That is their cologne, the EDP. No, the EDT. Yeah, the EDT. Okay, so I decided to get me one because one, I haven't really ever had like cologne because I was never really a cologne person. I just, you know, made sure I smelled good deodorant, lotion, or whatever. But I never really wore colognes like that. Then recently I was like, well, let me get into this bag. Let me really go buy something. You know, let me go get. A nice cologne to have you know let me start me a little collection so the Burberry hero is the one that I got in particular the hero that one was really good you know so I wanted there with intentions to get the Dior Sauvé but then I was like oh that doesn't smell good and then I saw on TikTok that everybody was trying to wear that so I was like no I'm not gonna buy that so then as I was searching you know I really wanted the Versace Eros Flame however it didn't mm -mm, it smelled bad and the polo red, uh-uh, rough and polo red, and the blue, those didn't smell that good either. But what did smell good was the Burberry, of course, because I have it. However, something close to it that I really liked, the Calvin Klein Eternity. I think that's what it's called. It's the light green one. Now, they have a dark green one that's a little stronger, or I don't know, but it's a light green one. And I like the light green one. The dark green one was good, too, but... I like the light green one better. I just feel like it was a little lighter and it wasn't as heavy. So y'all like that one. And I got that at Ulta. And my thing was, why are colognes $95 and $100 and $200? You know? I mean, mind you, I don't wear it every day because I'm not really going to wear important. But I do put it on. You know, I'm just trying to get into the smelling good thing. And then once my shades and stuff gear, because I want to have on shades. Anyway, I just want to come into a new aesthetic, like a new thing. Like, mm. so I decided to do that. Okay, I'm trying to see what this third section is gonna do. Okay, so now that I'm done with that third section, I'm gonna go off camera, finish this last part of my hair. Then when I come back, I'm gonna give you my final review. We're gonna pull out our go whiteboard. That way, you can really know, you know, my whatever. And yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, y'all, so I'm back, and this is the finished result, okay? All right, let's get into it a little bit. Anyway, let's go on and cut to the footage, that way you can see how the hair actually turned out. So, yeah, it did its thing, okay? Now, I don't know if the camera's picking it up as ju justified, you know? Well, I don't know if the camera's doing it as much justice as I can see here in real life, but, yeah, it really did its thing. There's definition there, you know, it smells good. You know, my hair does not feel dry, crunchy, or stripped, or anything like that. And yeah, it really did good. So, as you know, we have our whiteboard here with our rating. Okay, so, for the Miel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Curl Smoothing, we have an overall score of 8.5. Very good. For smell, we gave it an 8, slip, a 7. It wasn't the smoothest of, um, of application, but... That's neither here nor there. A definition of 9. Very good. And moisturization is a 10. Hair does not feel dry in the least bit. It has a nice hold, a soft hold, but it's a nice hold. Something that I'll at least be able to get 3 to 4 days out of in the coming days. Um, however, it will be raining this weekend. So, we'll just have to see where it goes from there. However, overall, again, 8.5. I think that's our highest straighter product so far. And if you enjoyed this video, you already know what you can do. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification bell. Follow me on social medias, TikTok, Instagram. And um, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next one.